The 2014 Aussie Millions at Crown Melbourne is coming to an exciting conclusion. We are heads up. One of these two players will take home the title and the first prize of $2 million. Yevgeny Timoshenko sits atop our leaderboard with 4.9 million in chips. And Mike McDonald follows with approximately half the amount, about 2.6 million in chips. Eric Seidel eliminated in third place, over a million in payouts. And there they are, one of these two guys. Grant Levy sitting next to me. You have played with both these players. What can we expect at the heads up? Oh, they're both very aggressive, Paul. They've both had a lot of success in tournaments from a very young age. Uh, while the money is great, I'm sure they're both after the number one spot, the title. Well, this is an interesting hand already. So Mike McDonald picks up ace-eight, off-suit, raises the button over to Evgeny Timoshenko, who has him dominated with pocket eights. These are two really legitimate hands, heads up. Often the guy that plays out of position will want to be a little bit more aggressive pre-flop, take control of the action, or take it down pre-flop. So I expect a three-bet here from Yevgeny. And he counts out a raise, and that's exactly what he does. He raises right back at Mike. Now, ace eight of clubs, heads up, pretty strong hand. Yeah, it's a strong hand. I, I think it'd be incorrect to fault here, but I think Mike, given he's got position, Given they're relatively deep, I'd expect him to peel. See if he can outflop Yevgeny. Well, Yevgeny has uh, seen that stare before, no doubt. These two have fenced quite a bit during this tournament. And for five or six years going back. So much tension between these two players, even though they're so successful. They really want this title, you can tell. Oh, and, and when you're playing for $2 million, it tends to get the, uh, the nerves racing and the, the hairs on the back of the neck stand up. It sure does. Well, Mike McDonald has made the call. We will see a flop. It is 5-4-4. Yeah, well, that flop has certainly missed Mike. I expect Yevgeny that will uh, have another crack at that. It's a very good flop for his eights. I think he wants to bet just under half pot, maybe about 40% pot, about 400,000 or so. Incredibly still, both players remain, take their time. You've been in these situations before, Grant. I mean, how do you keep so still with so much at stake? I mean, surely inside the heart's racing at a million miles an hour. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's actually quite tough to, to mask those emotions, but as a professional poker player, you really need to. You don't want to give anything away to your opponent at all. Yevgeny yeah, makes a bet. Action's now over to Mike. Yevgeny leads out with a bet of 380,000. 380,000. And Yevgeny is always going to continuation bet that flop. Uh, it's possible that Mike could float here or he could let his hand go. Now, by float, you mean, you know, call with no hand and look for an opportunity to take the hand away, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, call with the intention of, of winning it on a later street. I mean, he doesn't have no hand. He does have two over cards and, uh, you know, back door, straight draws, which he picks up there. Turn of three of clubs. Pot now. A little over 1.6 million in the middle. This is where it gets tough for Mike if you have any bets. If he checks, he's got a couple of options. He's picked up equity with, a flush, with the uh, straight draw now, so he can check it back. He's got some showdown value. Or he can try and get there with the ace or, you know, the eight he might think is an out or the two for the straight. Will Mike take a stab here? Will he elect to check? Very tense. You have 10 seconds to act. The dealer informing Mike. He only has 10 seconds. And he takes the option. He checks. So we will see a river. It is a seven of hearts. So Yevgeny Timoshenko is best with pocket eights. I wouldn't be surprised if Yevgeny checks here again. Just to go the check call line. If he does check, Mike might think he's got showdown value and check it back anyway. Well, he does check. Now it's over to Mike. Will he take a stab? Or does he think his ace is good? 
He takes a check, so he thinks his ace might be good. Takes a look over, and Yevgeny shows his pocket eights, and Mike will fold. So there you go. A very significant pot at 1.6 million will go all the way over to Yevgeny Timochenko, who's taken a commanding lead heads up now. Mike McDonald with some ground to make up. As you can see by our leaderboard, we lost some pretty big names. Some of the biggest players in the world played this tournament. Patrick Antonius, Daniel Negreanu, $100,000 challenge. And you could rebuy. Imagine that, pulling out an extra 100000 because you busted earlier. We had 37 of those. Quite incredible. Now, there are only two players remaining. And there was a few big-name players in for a lot of money in this tournament, <laughs> Paul. 500000 600000 uh, Yevgeny looking down at King Queen of Diamonds and looking at a raise from Mike McDonald with 10 8 of spades. A couple of very pretty hands here. Yevgeny out of position again. King Queen of Diamonds is a massive hand, heads up. And it looks like he's going to come in for another three bet. Raise. Putting the pressure on Mike. Mike's only got 16 big blinds. Forcing Mike to make a play here. And it looks like he's doing exactly what you said. He calls to see a flop. We go again. Two hands that can flop pretty well. And here it is. The flop is a 10, an 8, and a deuce. So Mike McDonald flops two pair. Well, one of the hands flops pretty well, Paul. <laughs> and Yevgeny, not much there for Yevgeny. He's got the uh, couple of backdoor draws, flush draw and... Straight draw, couple of overcards. Of course, he's the uh, aggressor pre-flop, so he's going to continue, correct? Yeah, usually. I mean, it's a pretty coordinated board, and uh, Michael awesome. limped pre-flop and called called the raise, uh, so the the ten eight two That's two hearts uh, flop could certainly hit his kind of limp calling range relatively hard, and I expect given stack sizes. Mike's pretty happy with his hand here, or very happy with his hand. And he might just want to get the chips in. It's a pretty wet, wet flop again. How does he want to play it? Well, I mean, he's going to lose all Yevgeny's bluffs if he, if he raises. But at the same time, like I said, it's a pretty wet flop. And he doesn't want to mess around. He makes the call. We go to the turn. The turn is a queen of hearts. Well, that's a pretty significant, pretty nice card for Mike now. Yevgeny looked straight at his chips and counted them out. And bets. 325,000. And I don't think Mike's going to mess around now. I think we might see the all-in. Mike McDonald has used the timebreaker button, which gives him an additional 30 seconds to act. So Mike being very deliberate with his action. Well, he's thrown in the time button, buying himself an extra 30 all seconds, in. and then Steve moves all-in. All in. So it's over to Yevgeny now. Will he call? Well, there's a significant amount of chips in the pot. Pot's laying him great odds. He's got top pair with a king kicker on a very coordinated board. It's going to be hard to get away from it. Just give me this very different body language now from Yevgeny Timochenko. He has a commanding chip lead over oh. Mike McDonald. Cool. And he does call. So, well, he needs a little bit of luck. And if he gets lucky, he will eliminate Mike McDonald and win this title. But he needs some help on the river. He needs a king, a queen, or a two. He's in front with two pair. Needs to avoid a king or a queen on the river. Or a two. That's a big king, queen or deuce on the river. Cards he needs to avoid. The and the river is a seven of spades, so Mike McDonald will double 
through Yevgeny Timoshenko and stay alive in this heads up. And that is a big whack, Grant. That is, uh, he's had him on the ropes and then he trapped him really well. Yeah, I mean, the stacks are pretty close to even again now. A bit more play left for Mike and these two are going to keep going at it. Oh, this 100k challenge at the 2014 Aussie Millions draws to an end. We will have a champion real soon.